Well, new tonight, a unique conference aimed at reaching at risk youth and celebrating black men who've overcome similar obstacles is coming to Metro Atlanta. The 2023 Treasure Hunt Conference is bringing together a collective of men to share strategies they use to avoid violence and other distractions. 11 Alive's Boeth Yates spoke to organizers about how they hope this message resonates with children in the community. Well, conference organizers say they already know the strategy works because it helped them get Carver Steam Academy off the state's watch list. And now they want to take those procedures beyond school walls and into the community. I actually moved to Atlanta from New York City um, to take over one of the toughest schools in Atlanta and Georgia. Um, high poverty rate, lots of crime. Um, really a, a tough place to be. Yosef Muhammad is talking about the STEAM Academy at Carver. When he first became principal at the school, it was on the state's low performance watch list. But after six years of targeted outreach, Muhammad says they've turned the school around, That's removing good. it Taking from the state's risk. list, increasing now. the school's graduation rate right. and transforming now. children's lives. What we did was we motivated them. You know, we did things out of the ordinary. We took kids camping. We had them leave the, the school grounds to explore, you know, opportunities that they never had before. Mohammed says also addressing individual student barriers like not having a safe place to sleep or needing to work to help support their families, help them reach more children. And during the upcoming inaugural 2023 Treasure Hunt Conference, the group hopes to show parents and community groups similar strategies that can be used at other schools too. We need our young people to understand that there's greatness within them. We believe that every student has God-given treasures within them. They just might need an adult to help them pull them out. Organizer Rita Williams says knowledge is power, and it isn't just about academic standards, but also self-awareness. They've organized a panel of black men to speak about how they've overcome obstacles to help connect with the children. We just believe that if we help our young people to understand who they are, if we help them to discover their gifts and their talents in different ways that they can use them, besides what maybe someone in the street, so to speak, is telling them how to use them. We believe that we can help change the narrative. For more details about the conference, just go to 11 Alive's website. Bobeth Yates, 11 Alive News. You know, and it's really great that we're seeing so many ideas coming forward because once you find something that works, we can share it and other people can get the benefit of that as well in other areas. And I love what she was saying because every child has a gift. Every child has a talent. Some children just need to know, hey, you have this gift, you have this talent, you are worthy. And adults that are you're watching now, if you have kids in your life, speak life to them because sometimes they just need that. Yeah, and just a little bit of exposure as well. Absolutely. Makes all the difference.